Hey y'all, it is Harry. I'm um, coming to you today with my March empties. Um, I am still in my pajamas. I haven't decided what I'm going to put on my nails yet today for Easter. So I um, just want to go ahead and get this out of the way uh, while I had a chance. First off, um, I'm trying to go through some of my sample stuff and get rid of stuff that is sitting there that I'm never going to use. Um, I just want to use it up and get it out. Well, I took this with me to Daytona on vacation this past summer um, and had it sitting back in my drawer. So I just went ahead and used this up to get it out of the way and that um, I'm a Crest girl. So um, there's that. Let's see. Maybelline Falsies, and this is in black as black. Um, I had this open probably about a year, um, but I don't wear makeup that often, so it didn't get dried out because I didn't open it as often, but I noticed over the weekend that, um, excuse me, allergies, um, I noticed over the weekend that I had a little bit of clumpy fallout on my uh, face, when I went out to lunch, so I said, yeah, I gotta toss this, um, try to use up some of the other mascaras I have, and, um, I have backups of this. I love this stuff, so this is, like, my favorite mascara that I've found so far. Uh, let's see, this is a sample of the Lush Vanishing Cream Moisturizer. Um, there's just a little bit left in here. Um, not really that much. I got this when I got my Lemony Flutter. And, um, it, you have to use it up really quick, and this stuff is really expensive. Um, it just, it felt kind of greasy to me. So, I didn't think that feeling greasy was worth the price. Um, but I will, I love Lush products, the ones I've used so far, or for the most part. Um, I will reuse this container. I think I'm actually going to clean it out and re-sanitize it and, um, uh, Depop my Urban Decay Primer Potion in here because it's getting kind of uh, difficult to get some stuff out of there. Um, speaking of Lush, and this is the last little bit of the Fresh Pharmacy that I have. Bought a bar of it last summer. Um, sorry, last spring. And that's how much I have left. Um, I took filled this container up to take with me to Daytona. Um, and I haven't used this little bit since I was using what I had in my shower already. That right there is enough to wash your face. And that's like a little T90 amount. Um, so this will last a good while. It smells... It, I don't know exactly what the, the ingredients are. I'll try to put it in my blog post. But this smells so stinking good. If you've ever been in a Lush store, you know the smell of Lush. If you haven't, go... Um, if you have sensitive skin, oily skin, whatever, this will work great. Um, I wish I could remember what properties. I think I'll put it in the blog post of what properties it is. I'll look it up on their website. Um, but the coal face made my face burn. Where is this, um, it, it's perfect, at least for me. Um, so that's that wanted to go ahead and show you guys the what it looked like before I finished using it all up. This is a little sample of Pantene <clears throat> Color Preserve Shampoo. Um, I got this in a Target bag. I don't remember exactly when, but I wanted to go ahead and get it used up. And um, mm, Those of you who have known Pantene since they came out, uh, know the nostalgia smell, kind of like herbal essences. Um, I haven't used this since the 90s because my uh, hairdresser told me not to use this stuff because it damages my hair and so therefore I haven't used it but I wanted to go ahead and use this sample bottle up to get it out of my drawer <clears throat> and I, oh my god the smell, it, it brought me back to the 90s. Um, I had to use it again, so I bought a full-size bottle. Um, I'm kind of meh on it, but um, I did use it up. I emptied it, so that's good. It's rare for me. Usually I would have just tossed it out. <clears throat> this is the Colorful Protein Color Filler um, from Sally's Beauty Supply. Um, I haven't really noticed much of a difference with this. 
Uh, you can use it to refresh your color. You can use it with your color um, or what have you. But I, I haven't really noticed much of a difference. And anybody who colors their hair red um, knows that red fades fast. So um, I don't know that I would repurchase this. So that is that. Uh, my Purity Made Simple face wash. Um, I don't remember where I got this from. But, uh, or when I got it, but this stuff is amazing. I think there's maybe enough left in there for one more usage. Um, works great on every skin type. Uh, you can use it right up to your eyes and it doesn't uh, agitate them, doesn't burn. Um, gets every little bit of makeup off. And um, you can even use it to clean your makeup brushes. So, um, I just don't like the price, but... Sometimes you can get it at QVC.com or on the QVC uh, TV show. Um, sometimes they'll have a deal, like a value, where you can get it like in a kit. Or you can get the, the super humongous size for a reasonable price. So, um, if you're looking for a face wash, this is really good. Oh, let's see, what else have I used up? Cotton rounds. I think there's actually a little piece right there that's cut that I cut for something, but I'm going to toss it, so, um, I've got some more of these already, um, let's see, my China Glaze Fast Forward Top Coat, um, love this stuff, I rotate between about three or four different, uh, fast dry top coats, um, but this I love, um, definitely will use it again, I already have a backup bottle open, so, um, I know there's drama surrounding China Glaze right now, I'm not going to get into that, um, but I love this top coat, so that's that. And I love how it's got a uh, little frosted glass bottle there. Let's see. This is my least favorite product that I finished up using. And this would be the Suave, um, sorry, Suave Color Protection Conditioner. Um, in February, I finished up the shampoo, um, this just, like the shampoo, it didn't impress me. Um, I didn't notice a difference. It's just, it's it's conditioner. So, there's actually a little bit left, but I'm just tossing it because I didn't care for it. So, so the trash that one goes. <clears throat> Second to last, we have Calgon Bath Beads in Ocean Breeze. And this is a big container. It's 26 ounces. Um, I got this from... Walmart, and it's it's okay. Um, I prefer the bath bombs from Lush, or um, there's a brand called Kama Sutra. Um, they sell body oils, massage oils, and um, they have some bath beads, bath salts, whatever. Um, and their bath salts are called uh, Treasures of the Sea, and it comes with a little seashell to dispense the product out. Um, and it turns your water blue, just like this does, but it, it stays blue with the other stuff. And I prefer those two products to this. I don't know if I will repurchase this or not. If I do, I might get a different scent. And lastly, my first ever empty container of dry shampoo. Usually, the first dry shampoo I ever tried was when Ojan first came out with their dry shampoo. Um... I got it in a kit from QVC, so it didn't cost all that much. Not nearly as much as it does in stores. Um, and this, of course, was before they had drugstore dry shampoos. Um, they may have had Batiste or Pst back then, but I don't know because I never looked for them. The only ones I knew of were the Shorts Call, or sorry, were the Ojan, and then there was a big name brand too that I can't remember that was sold at Sephora. Um, any Hooser, I got this for a couple bucks. At uh, CVS, I had some $3 off coupons, and then CVS had it on sale. So, actually, I think I paid like a dollar for it. Um, it's got kind of a citrusy smell, but it's not... Let me see if I can... It's a clean citrusy smell. It's not annoyingly citrus. Um, it smells great. It works great. And it does what it says. It's invisible. Um... And uh, for 
red hair, you definitely need this stuff. Um, I've got a couple more of these as backups because, like I said, I got them real cheap. Um, but right now I'm using a suave one, so um, I'll let you know what I think of it as well. Um, but yeah, this I definitely, um, you can get it at a reasonable price at the drugstore. Sometimes uh, Ulta has them. Buy one, get one half off. So um, just keep an eye out. I don't see coupons out for these that often, um, but they, they're on sale at least once a month or so. This brand specifically is on sale once a month or so at, at one or two of the drugstores or Ulta. So um, that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I hope you guys have a wonderful Easter. Um, next week is spring break for the kiddos, so I'm going to be doing minimal posts. Um, but like I said, hope you guys have a great Easter. Enjoy your families. Bye-bye.